<laughs> Sorry. The master volume, for some reason, has a disgusting squelching sound. I don't know why it's doing that. Sorry, the slider, I mean. I wasn't fapping or anything. Hi! <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, everyone. Hi and welcome. I hope you're having a lovely start to your morning, wherever you are currently. Uh, the weather is pretty gnarly here in, uh, in the south of England, so uh, a pretty short dog walk. Uh, so I went to the cafe. I got Lulu some sausage, so she's full of sausage behind me. Hello, darling. Hang on a minute. So over here. By the way, the Lulu cam is not activated. Hang on. There's a dog that is role-playing Mother Teresa. Um, yeah, so she's full of sausage and she's got her butt on the warm radiator where she will stay for the next several hours. On the YouTube side of things, I'm trying... <clears throat> I'm struggling. I'm struggling to finish uh, Armour Prairie Fire Bullshittery. It's on, its, it's on the start of the fifth week of work and it's currently in the polishing, the quality assurance stage. Pardon me. Um, beneath the live stream in the first tile is a Google Sheet which outlines the issues that I'm facing. Basically I'm bug fixing, but the problem is many of the bugs that I'm facing are quite large. They're things like replace with a different scene, which is not the sort of thing that one typically should be doing in quality... Well, it happens in quality assurance from time to time. But um, yeah, so uh, in other words, I need, I need to get some really big issues cleared off the board before it starts getting faster, you know, before I start getting through genuine... Oh, the text is a bit too small. Oh, the audio is a bit too loud. You know, that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, so doing the best I can. Thank you, Haiku. Thank you very much, Haiku. Uh, so I will need to keep the stream relatively time-boxed because I do have much to do. But that being said, I can feel myself getting sucked into the forest. So here we go. Um, yeah, so beyond that, everything's fine. Just on with the routine. I hope you're all okay. Uh, hang on, who's there? Hi there, Umlaut. Hi there, indeed. And hi there, Duckslayer. Hope you're both very well. Thank you for the game last night. Hmm. Um, well, that's what I'm hoping, Andrew. So long as there's something to say. Uh, for those unfamiliar, I did a YouTube video about the first Forest game. I would like to do a second one with a sort of, uh, well, a look into the sequel, but it won't be as lengthy as the first. No, 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 no. Um, right. Anyway, so, what's going on? Hey, darling. I do love you. Yes, I do. But you have had an entire big sausage and some snacks. So you've had enough for now. You have a nice sleep. <laughs> no, look at her. Right. All right. Hang on. So, welcome to The Forest 2. Turn the music back up. Turn it down there. Right. So, continue. Here we go. Right, loading game. So, what's going on? Uh, what's happening in the game? So... Uh, a brief recap of the first game then, not going into huge detail. The first game concerned a gentleman called Eric LeBlanc, who is the protagonist, who crash-landed on a peninsula uh, in the, uh, well, in the forest in the first game. And on that peninsula, he found crazy cannibals and weird monsters everywhere. Spoiler warning for the first game, it turns out that the site was the location of a mysterious device, a few devices in fact, but a, a major, like, massive, almost obsidian-looking obelisk that was underground, which seemed to have incredibly strange magical properties that a corporation, a pharmaceutical company, were trying to exploit. That obelisk, it seemed, well, it seemed to have the ability to rapidly mutate things. Here we go. I'll explain in a minute who that is and what's going on. Hang on. So, oh wait, the music's going to keep playing the whole time, isn't it? Anyway, so in the first game, essentially you were trying to escape the forest whilst also... Oh shit, she's here. Whilst also trying to understand what the hell was going on. And it turns out that that obelisk was essentially being exploited by a pharmaceutical corporation who were doing some incredibly shady shit. Hi. She's terrified, look. Can you see her through the darkness? So, at the start of this game, Sons of the Forest, I don't know who we are yet. Um, I, so, I, the protagonist was wearing what appeared to be a press jacket, so it said the word press on it, and we were on a helicopter that was being flown, uh, something called Puffton, I'm guessing a company. Sorry, I can't see shit. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, two helicopters with the word Puffton on the side. And I had a laptop on my lap which was telling me that uh, I think we were I think we're a rescue party looking for Hi there, Kelvin. Looking for three people. Um I think it was was it Edward? Edward Puffton. What was the other one? Was it Bianca? There was another one. It was a woman, so a, a, a CEO, I think the wife, and then here's the thing, on re on rewatching the cinematic, a girl, a, a young woman called Virginia. That woman looks a lot like Virginia. In other words, I think we're here to rescue three people, and I'm starting to wonder if I bumped into one of them. That woman there in the distance, in the darkness. So we crash landed. Here's the thing. We didn't crash. I think we were shot down. I could hear distant banging sounds, which sounded like automatic weapon fire, uh, automatic weapons fire. And then holes were poked in the helicopter's glass, and then we came crashing down. I think someone shot us down. In addition, we were approached by someone on the beach. We were, we were physically assaulted. Some guy with a, a white jacket and a handgun kicked me in the hand and then knocked me out by pistol whipping me but he did not kill me I know not why he neither he did not save me I know not why he just said who invited you here took the press marker off my jacket and then I woke up to discover that I was here alongside one of the survivors this is Kelvin he f he's hit his head he's bleeding from his ears he appears to be deaf and probably a little bit you know <laughs> you know, I don't know if that was there before. Seems a bit slow. He can't hear me. I can say whatever I want. Uh, okay. He also seems to like fire. Don't know what that's about. He keeps setting himself on fire. He's literally put his hair on the edge of the campfire right now. Well, his mum did name him Kelvin. Right. Anyway. So, yes. So, um, yeah, so long story short, so, um, yeah, I, I've crash-landed here. I don't know who I am or why we're here, but we do have... He's scaring me by doing that. It looks like he's dead. But we're doing our best to try and survive, and there are definitely cannibals here, so I'm starting to, su I'm starting to suspect that there's another obelisk here in this forest, maybe. Which is strange, because you see that woman over there? She has mutations on her. Which is a bit of a sea change, if true, because she's a full-grown adult. Previously, in the last game, the obelisks didn't work on adults. Or at least, the pharmaceutical company were not using adults. They were only using um, prepubescent children. So maybe there is one that works on adults here. If so, that would fucking explain why a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company would be interested in this place. <clears throat> Sorry, it's too dark. I'll sleep now to... Uh, hang on. Enemies nearby. Fuck. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Fuck, shit, fuck. Where's my spear? I lost my spear, didn't I? Fuck. Kelvin, wake up. Kelvin, wake the fuck up. Light the fire. Did he put that there? Back away. Fuck. Get a rock or something. Don't you... Oh, God, they got a spear. Oh, God, he just fucking... Is that my own spear? God damn it. I'm fucking hurt really badly. Do I have any meds? I don't have any meds. Shit. Kelvin, Kelvin, watch it, man. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hang on. Where's my axe? I can't absorb a single hit. I'll be killed. Holy shit. Can we... Is that my spear? Whose spear is this? It's a spear. Fuck. Oh, look. The trap was triggered. It killed one of them. Can I reset it quickly? What happened? Still can't see shit. Back away. I think they're pulling down the wall. You can just see vague shapes, really. You're in my camp, motherfucker. I don't get hit. I mustn't get hit. Fuck, he dodged it. Whoa, that was a good dodge. Shit. Oh look! He hit he got hit by the trap as well. Jesus Christ, it dismembered them. What the fuck? That is a really violent trap. Kelvin, are you okay? Who are you? You're not Kelvin. 
What are you wearing? Ooh. Oh god! I died! Am I gonna get dragged to a cave like the first game? Seems so. Okay, no, not a cave. The camp. I was here before. I attacked these people. I see. Okay, so just like the first game, you don't get a game over. Right. Grab that knife. I see. Quickly, untie myself. Right. Are they resting? They're resting. Is that is that my backpack? We're going to need it. Presumably they'll only only do that once. After this it'll probably be a game over. Okay, don't wake them up. I've got very low health. Yes, I've been here before, this exact camp. It's just up the river. Shit. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm sneaking along the side. Look, he's tied up as well. Who's that then? Why is there another cannibal tied up? A different tribe, maybe? Okay, let's leave. Hope Kelvin's okay. Anyway, sorry, for those joining, um, yes, I, uh, my health was very low. I just got attacked at my camp. Oh. Uh, sorry, what is the... I'm getting messages. Is it too dark? You can't see anything? I, I, I can see barely. Okay, uh, let, me, let me try and turn up for you guys. Hang on. Let me give you a brightness filter. Oh, there is no brightness filter on the forest. What? I might have to make one. Hang on. Scenes, filter. Go here quickly. What is it? Color correction. Is it Luma Key? Color correction? No, it is color correction. Let's do this. Gamma. How's that? Is that a bit better? If I up the gamma like that? So it's still dark for me. Too much? Too much. Okay, I'll dial it, dial it down a bit. Too much. Let's put it down there. How's that? A little, little bit, but not too much. Okay. Okay, here's the camp. Yeah, so we didn't go far. Is she okay? Fuck, she's not dead, is she? No, she's sleeping. She's fine. Leave her alone. Don't go running up to a, yeah, don't disturb a random lady when she's sleeping. Hang on. Grab some berries. Fuck. Shit, the back. I'm tired. Use a tarp to build a shelter. Kelvin, you okay? Oh, fuck, what's this? Oh, God, they left an effigy. Kelvin's okay. Fat load of good you were, Kelvin. Now, right, hang on. E eat some berries. I need to figure out how to get my health up. I don't have any meds. I suppose maybe that's the answer. Find some meds. And I do need to sleep, so let's sleep. Here we go. Right, so hang on. Sleeping did not increase my health. Shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they did place down an effigy. Christ. Can I deconstruct it like an item? No. Many of them. Many, many, many of them. We're definitely going to need uh, yeah, more walls and more traps. Okay, I threw a spear. Oh, look. Another spear. I threw one and it flew down there, didn't it? Yeah, they're watching me in the trees. You see that? So I get the filter off for you now. Could be a bit awkward. There we go. Kelvers and look at Leah looking at them. Where's my bow? Do I still have it? I do, but do I have any arrows? Quickly, run over to the... On the wall here, I've made a, a bird's nest. Did it attract any birds? It did. 
quickly grab these. Feathers, many feathers. How many sticks do I have? Okay. I like this, by the way. They've done some fantastic work with the inventory. Many of the mechanics, in fact. I'd love to sort of break them down and talk about them. Right, here we go. Attention to detail with the crafting. Look, look, look. Very cool. How many do I have? Is that four in total? Can I make a couple more? Okay. Put down these. Thank you, Glad Pact. Do I have a special relation to this game after spending so much time and effort on the video essay? Yes! Yes! Because I, I really enjoyed the first forest, as you can probably tell. I really, really enjoyed it, and I got sucked into it. And as a result, it kind of melted my brain at the very end. From a, de uh, from a software development standpoint, because I, I, I used to work in QA, so... I, can, so I feel I can, see the, I can see the strings a little bit. Or, in that case, the lack of them. But um, I'm, I'm very... Well, right from the bat, I can... So, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of spinning in a circle here. The Forest 2 has so many cool mechanical improvements. Uh, for example, um, so just watching this, well, they've put in whole NPC behaviours. They've introduced introduced us early to what I assume is a major plot character, which is, again, I'm assuming, I don't know yet, which is a far cry from what they did in the previous one, which is where you only ever encountered anybody right at the very end and only momentarily. She's more afraid of them? Back away. The cannibal behaviours have been reworked as well. I like their facial expressions, their emotions. You can see them as they react to you. Back away. Wait, he's wearing a light. Shit, it's another one. It's another one of them with the golden masks. They've got strange things on their faces. Back away. Wonder what it means. Where did they find it? Did they make it? Back away. Warned you. Back away. You want to join him? Back away. You were warned. Ow! Oh! Damn it. I presume that's me dead dead? Is that a load? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh shit! What's this? Oh, they're going through your stuff. Okay. Yes, so you get one, one, um, yeah, one attack where you're essentially captured. Although, interestingly, so contrast to the first game, when I was captured there... Oh no, damn, I forgot to save when I slept. When I was captured there, we didn't actually get access to, like, a, um... A, a map or something? Or like a, an item that would... Uh, the, the first game, your capture, heralds normally giving you like a an important thing that, that you haven't found yet. So I guess, that it, uh, yeah, it's like a minor change in the sequel. That's the thing, Chimera. Sorry, that, that, that's the question. As Chimera po makes a good point. You keep trying to RP it. It's a survival game. That's the, yeah, that's the exact thing that makes the first game so fascinating. Because it is a survival game, and it was a survival game. And then right at the very end, they added a story and made it a mystery game. Right at the very tail end. The one of the last things that they did. And in doing so, which is what that video that I made was... They made it interesting, because all of a sudden, they incorporated all of these mysterious story elements that were not attached in any real way to the survival game underneath. So I'm very fascinated to see what happens with the sequel, because the story and the mystery is in there from the get-go. Who is that guy on the beach? Why did he attack me? Who's Puffton? Why are we here? Who are we trying to find and why? What's going on? Who are these cannibals? Why are they wearing the masks? That sort of thing. Intrigue. What's happened to that girl? Who is she? Why does she have multiple limbs? Okay, let's try and sleep. I've got arrows now. What? I, yeah, these are just elements of storytelling. I'm just describing... Yeah. Clues, be, clues being sprinkled around in a mystery. Who are, who's that cult? 
wearing the robes? What are they doing here and why? Save, thank you. Why is there a golf cart here? There's multiple golf carts here. Who are the people that were around them wearing the construction masks? What, what was their uniform that they were wearing? It didn't have Sahara on it. If not Sahara, then who? Okay. Right. Let's get started then. So yes, uh, that battle didn't happen. We weren't attacked in the night, so all the traps are still intact. Okay. Yes, Puff Corp. Who are Puff Corp? Why were they wearing military gear? Why did a helicopter see us and then fly away instead of trying to save us? Hmm. Right, okay. I'm going to... Yeah, we do need to... If we get attacked again, we could be in real trouble. Let's quickly... Okay. Oh, well done. So, um, Kelvin here has got me some logs to work with. Let's make a wall, shall we? Leave this side uncovered. I don't think... what. Shit, the bed. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? What's wrong with you? Oh, shit. God, bloody hell. Fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. I got taken out again. What the fuck? <laughs> it's going to sugar rush. Kelvin is useless. Right. Quickly. Yes, we definitely need some walls, quickly. Right. So who the fuck is this? Hang on. You look very different from the other cannibals. Are you from the caves? In the prior game, the cannibals in the caves had blue... like, dye. What's this, sorry? Uh, retrieve backpack first. Oh, maybe... Am I a liar, liar, pants on fire? Is that an important item? Hang on. Shit. Duct tape. No. Printer resin. Printer resin, batteries. Okay, quickly. So I've lost my crafting... Okay, put this on a number. Put this on a five. I do need to find some medicine. Skin pouch. Ugh. Ropes. Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? You have no eyes. It has no eyes. No genitals. Jesus Christ. I'm guessing you are from the caves. Did an artifact do that to you? Look at you. Can I free it? Will it run back to the cave system? I was trying to break it. I don't want to hurt it. I'm not alone. I need to go. I'm sorry, man. Or lady, or whatever you are. Use the knife? I didn't want to slash it. Okay, I've still got next to no health. Fuck. Back away. Yeah, they're coming back to their camp. Okay, stop for a minute. Eat some berries that I've collected. At least that will up my energy. Oh, fuck, what did I just eat? Devil's Club. Whoops. Okay. <clears throat> Good. These are salmon berries? These are edible. What was that skin pouch? Oof. Open. I can combine it with something. No, I can just open it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see. Okay. Sweet. Some coins. Ah, oh, some meds. Thank fuck for that. 
Eat those quickly. Nice attention to, de to detail with all the little animations and actions. Yeah, why does the skin pouch have a zipper? <laughs> okay. Right, I need to go... S yeah, so this is the second time that I got fucking murdered. Let's get down to the base, work it on its perimeter defences a little bit. At least get two walls in. We'll hurry. And then we'll head out. Shit, they're here again. They're in my camp. Can I switch? No, I've only got these basic stone arrows. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much, Chief. Okay, save it. Okay, any death now is final. Where's Kelvin? Oh, good. These traps are effective then. They are there. Yeah, they do work. Kelvin, is he okay? Kelvin? What have you done with Kelvin? There he is. He's fine. He's over there. You can back off. Nah. You can back off. Nice roll. Don't you think about it. Don't you think... Two is not enough. Three is enough. Okay. Hi, Kelvin. Right. The spears, can I grab them? Throw that down there for now. I can grab them. We'll hang on to them. Okay. I'm going to get out there and start felling the trees. I'll work on this outer wall. Here we go. What's he doing? You're... You're eating something. You're not eating that, are you? You're not... Tell me you're not eating that guy's hand. <laughs> Jesus. Really, really hope not. Okay. Right. Yes, look at this, folks. Um, so this is cool. So whereas in the former forest game, you would just have, like, place down, like, the ghost of a of an object and then paint it with, uh, with, um, with stuff, it feels like there's way more things that you can actually do. You can actually sort of place down, place down the objects individually. I'll show you when I split wood in a minute. Hang on. Like, I can place down a log, for example. So, that could be a wall, or I could change it to make a vertical. I could just place it down on the ground, at which point I can then, actually, weirdly, chop up the object. Look. I could... So, I can actually make it into several smaller logs, several smaller objects, or even split it down the middle. To make, I presume, benches and furniture and stuff. It's kind of cool. So, they seem to have mixed and matched. Like, you can still do the paint the building thing. Where you just put down the ghost and put resources on it. But yeah, in addition to that... Oh, fuck me! Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Jesus Christ, you're wearing someone's face. These ones do that as well, do they? Leave Kelvin alone! Oh my god, I cut his head off. Holy shit. He's wearing a shirt. You're wearing an actual shirt. The face came off. Along with the head. So these ones keep wearing masks. Just like the previous cannibals. Made of gold. Made of something else. Made of skin. Fucking hell. Okay, quickly. We're, yeah, so things are heating up now. Let's, uh keep working on these outer defences. And then I need to get a set of stairs. Thank you, Kelvin. A set of stairs so I can actually fire a bow and arrow over the top. Let's not go too crazy with the with the wall. Just have it thread around here. Enough room for uh, the go-kart and, and uh, trolleys and stuff. And more traps. Way more traps. Good point. I'm covered in blood. Let's get this off me. I'm also quite thirsty. Have I done it? Quickly. 
Hi there, Kyot. Welcome indeed. And thank you for subbing. He who works and the jaw noob, skull render, and chief and crom. Thank you, folks. There we go. So Kelvin will help by bringing the logs to the base. There we go. Yeah, it does look, yeah, the chopping, the tree chopping mechanic does feel very good. Again. Oh, sorry, Kelvin. Right, we'll move as quickly as we can. Can I drink the water? I can, but it does take off a little bit of my health, I think. Okay, switch it over to the other type. There we go. Yeah, we go all the way to the end. Oh, yeah, this guy has a really, the most bizarre way of, e of eating fish. I can't even, look. So I've got myself a salmon. Okay, you think that's fine? That's normal, right? Let's pick up the salmon. Let's light ourselves the fire. Keep it burning. Keep it tall. Thank you, Johnny Chicago. Right. Put some leaves in there. Right. Put the fish there. For some reason, just fling it onto the flame. Why don't you? Press I. Get a stick. So, look. Instead of just painting an item... I have a contextual interaction where I can break the stick and put it there. Right. Could you cut the logs in half before fl placing them to get double the length of the wall? Good question. I don't know. What, is in flat on our side? We'll give it a go. Thank you, Wolfgang. Okay, here we go. For some reason, this crazy motherfucker eats fish like this. Just bite its head up. And it just didn't even remove the skin. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Okay, drink some fresh water. Nope, put that away. Yeah, for some reason it is making me sick. Okay, but we do need water. Okay, so hang on, let's try that then. So pick up half of it. Does it let me... No, it seems that the half is a yeah, it's a resource for um making fires and stuff. So I can put this on the ground and then further split it. Hang on. Like this. It's quite clever, I like it. And then make smaller log items, which I can then No? Sorry, my bad. I need the contextual overlay. Which is there. See the dotted line? Like a bigger fire. Just the one? Nope, there we go. Two. Cool. Right. So, let's... Yeah, just keep going quickly. Sorry, it's probably not the most interesting thing in the world. I just need to get the defences sorted and certainly get additional traps going before they come back. Traps are going to help us immensely. Right. Maybe I should... Yeah, go all the way to the water. Thank you, Kelvin. Good job, mate. Is it attached? Yeah, enough. That's enough. But yeah, for those joining, I hope you're having a lovely morning. Um, the latest bullshittery is Armour 3 Prairie Fire. So that's Vietnam. And it's on its fifth, the start of its fifth week of work. It's entering, well, it's in the quality assurance, so I'm trying to polish it. It is bedeviling me somewhat. I've got some problems in it that I did not anticipate. For example, one of the things I like to do in a bullshittery is I like to alternate between quick cuts and slow scenes in such a way that I hopefully don't exhaust the viewer. The problem is, one of the quick cut scenes is too quick. Oh my god. It's so bewilderingly fast that it, it is, yeah, it's difficult to comprehend what's going on. So I'm having to add some additional scenes to slow it the fuck down. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Which is the sort of thing that's taking time. It's not the sort of thing that you typically encounter. Well, it is the stuff you encounter in QA, but... So trying to get the bullshittery to you as soon as I can, and then on with the next one. Is the way.
Also this morning I went to the cafe and I was asked once again, as it often happens, uh, a question, an, honest, an honestly asked question, and one that's normally simple to answer. What do you do for a living? said a, a member of the public. And I always have the awkward choice of the truth or telling a comfortable lie. For saying you're a YouTuber, is, I don't know, it's weird. It's like admitting, it's like admitting to a crime. Not much of a prestigious career is this. Nor live streaming, frankly. I'd rather go, hi, yes, yeah, so I steal copper from, from overhead cables. True, influencer would be worse. Influencer would be way worse. Okay, leave a patch of that water. Yeah, just go this way, hard this way. Maybe I should focus on some traps now. I don't, yeah, we're going to be here for like a good 45 minutes if I'm doing the entire way. Or, alternatively, go from here a little bit and then put a few traps out the front. And then at least they can only come from one main direction. That's a good idea. A log sled would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Cool. Thank you, Kelvin. So let's go from, like, do you see what I mean? As in, go from, like, here. Like this. Save, good idea, just in case we get jumped again. I seem to be building on, uh, so I'm guessing this is a river mouth. These would be alluvial deposits, wouldn't they? So we're, so yeah, it's where it flattens out and meets the sea. So we're on a mixture of, of clay and sediment. Where it all goes flat right next to the river mouth. It's also probably subject, subject to heavy flooding, so hmm. Thank you to Hapaste. Thank you very much too. Yeah, this is going to take some time. What can I get in the meantime to help? Hang on. So press I. Op no, not I. Press B. Open the book. Stone fight. Yes, we need to find a turtle to get a rain catcher. So keep your eyes peeled for one of those. For fresh water. Scarecrows. Bird houses. Basic sled. We'll make one of those. Wait, is there a difference between a basic sled and a log sled? Because I need a log sled. We'll make a basic one first. See what it does. Right, whoopsie. Sorry, Kelvin. Messing up his well organized stack of sticks. <laughs> See, primitive. T oh, good, it can. Eight logs. Yes, primitive technology would never have this problem. He's minding his own business, making his little spinny wheel fan furnace. He doesn't have to deal with goddamn cannibals coming out of nowhere, wearing the skin of his neighbours. Hang on. There we go. Come on, Kelvin. There's no time. We're going to get murdered. Indeed, it's a cool channel. Right, here we go. Give it a push. Right. Cut these down. Clear the way. <coughs> uh, thank you, the Nakrin. Thank you, Nakrin. Thank you very much. Oops. Why am I not building the wall horizontal, Bamboo? That is an excellent question. Why am I not doing that? That seems way more sensible. <laughs> you know what? I have no answer beyond the fact that uh, the helicopter crash addled my brain. Uh... 
That is a really good point. Hold on a second. What? Oh, shit. I hit them. Uh, wouldn't that be way faster? Oh, but we'll ruin the aesthetic. <laughs> and that's what's important. Any more logs here? Oh, really? Can they climb over that, but they can't climb over that? Well, I guess we'll find out. Hi there, Massive. Hi there. Thank you, to uh, Torzaf, as well. Thank you, Torzaf. Right. Yeah, let's get a few traps in now, shall we? What am I doing? Here we go. Yes, I do look forward to doing this cooperatively. <clears throat> Alright. So, traps. Let's put a few of them. So, what have we got to play with? Open up the book. I've done it again. Right. So, we know that they're coming. So, bone maker trap. Holy shit, that, was, that thing was effective. It seems to catapult up and dismember people. No, wait, that's the fly swatter trap. Bone maker requires vodka. I do have two bottles of vodka. Does that mean it's flammable? Making bones by burning away flesh? The hokey pokey trap. Okay. Silent alarm. Leaf trap. Explosive tripwire. Okay. Hokey pokey trap. That is indeed the hokey pokey trap. Okay. Let's put down here. A ho yeah, this is going to be too. They'll be like, yeah, it's a trap. Right, this is going to be the hokey pokey trap, which we're going to place here. Right, six logs. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but will they turn around? Then we paint it with three rope. Fifteen rocks. Whoops. But yeah, no, so so far so good. Cool, he's actually... Is he cutting down the tree himself? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Cool. What else is going on this week? Um, really on with the routine. Uh, I, I think we're going to be resuming Baldur's Gate this week. Probably tomorrow. Social's back from his holiday. Need more sticks. Right. Go grab some sticks. Okay. There we go. And make sure I've got the maximum number of arrows. How's Lulu? How's the car? How's fishing? Haven't been fishing yet. It's steadily getting warmer in the UK, but it's still a little bit chilly. How does it trigger? Oh, wait. Am I dumb? It goes the wrong way. I assumed this would drop down. It swings this way, outwards, doesn't it? I think I'm thick. Okay. Well, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave a gap there. And then hopefully people will come this way. Okay. Yeah, so if I do this... Whoop! Jesus Christ. Thought I was triggering it. If I do this, I guess we'll find out. See what I mean? They'll be like, ha! Ah, there's a gap in his defenses. I'm going to get him. Right. Okay. Build the wall this way. No, Kelvin, don't come through here, man. Kelvin, Kelvin, dude, come on, man. Don't do that. Well, you, yeah, you know, just stand there, why not? Okay. And lots of ground to cover. Let's get ourselves some, some firing platforms as well. Okay, move this over here. We're losing the light. Give it a save. Does it even trigger? Hopefully. Right. I 
Okay. We'll get some food. Eat this. What do I happen to the girl? Hope she's okay. Hi there, Jinx. Hope you're well. Uh, ZF Jinx is in the chat, formerly known as Joink. Right. Right, there we go. Okay, making some progress. Should have bought the shed, uh, the sled, really, shouldn't I? Hang on. Just a seagull. Can I get it? Yeah, waste of an hour. Right. Quickly before we lose the light and get attacked in the middle of the night. Okay, there's a cave marker fairly nearby. Maybe we should explore it and see what's down there. Although from a from a story perspective, I don't think I have really have a reason to go down into a cave. That being said, I'm not entirely sure who I am. Right. A member of the press looking for a story? The three people that I assumed that we were here to rescue, it said that they went missing seven months ago. But it also said that he was a CEO, so I can certainly see why there would be interest in finding some, you know, it's not as if just it's some random camper. Right. Yes, they were. So, so weirdly, they were. Uh, Kelvin's doing it now. Kelvin's wearing military gear. He's wearing um, a, a ballistic vest and um, a military helmet, which is odd. Are they a private military company? The company. The helicopter said the name of the company. Are they some private security team? Ooh. Like a corporate security team. Yeah, maybe they're a private military company. But again, seven months is a long time. Does my character know the Puftons? Did I pay the mercenaries? Again, I'm assuming that I'm not um, the fir the um, the uh, secondary protagonist from the first game. So the first game featured a gentleman who was a reality TV star called Eric LeBlanc. Although I don't think his name ever actually comes up in the game itself. You can find a magazine, but I can't remember if the name is on the front. Um... And then there's the son called Timmy, but I don't know if e e any. Well, I don't know if either of them are even still alive. Surely it's been a few, well, many years since then. I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know where they are. Hang on. Hell, I don't even know if Sahara is still around. Actually, no. I can presume that they are considering that the canonical ending for the first Forest game had you make a very grim choice and your main character even went so far as to write a book about it so I very seriously doubt well actually no thinking about it the ending of the first game the TV presenter you, you go on a, a like a TV show and you're uh, like a what is it it's like a late night television show and doesn't the presenter say something like your book making wild claims or something yeah there's one line I don't know, maybe Sahara's misdeeds did get out. Thank you, Kelvin. Yeah, yeah, sorry, for those joining, I'm, I'm not legit legitimately asking these questions of the chat to be answered. I'm merely speaking my mind. Which is, in my opinion, what live streamers need to do, because the audience can't mind read. Right. <laughs> That's what I think. 
Well, if that's true, chat, I apologize. I apologize for the uh, words. I apologize for the large number of titties in said wine reading activities. I'm a bloke. I can't help myself. Right. Oh Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Fingers stuffed into the orifices of this guy's skull. Grim. Jesus. Okay. Well, the base is looking a bit, uh... That's very cool. Thank you, Kelvin. Alright, yes. Yeah, so, okay, so I was doing it wrong, was I, Kelvin? You have to show me, right? Yeah, okay, give me that look. Oh, fuck you. Alright. Okay, two more traps near the entrance, I think. And then I think we'll be a little bit better, because then we'll have a we'll have um, traps on every compass point. So at least if we get attacked again. Yeah, Kevin's explaining, yeah. Not like that, do it like this. Right. So put down the, the easy peasy ones. Hang on. So the bone maker trap. I presume this is probably explosive. So uh, as in sets fire to them maybe? Smashes them with flammable material. Stick that there. Yeah, does it smash them in the face with vodka? Not sure how that's going to light. And then we'll put another one, like, here or something. I've done it again, sorry. So the fly swatter trap is the other one over there, which seems to catapult upwards somehow. Hit them with rocks? Okay. Nice. So keep the fire going. Maybe I should make the fire a little larger. I wonder if that uh, warns them off, maybe. Okay, so put this here on the ground. Split it, I think. Like that. Right. No, I'm missing something. What am I missing? I think I do, I do the little ones first, don't I? Take this. There we go. Split place. Then... Or is it just a big... Is it just a whole log? Not just a little one? Yeah, it's a whole log, my bad. Cool. There we go. Get ourselves a big bonfire. All the way up. Okay. And I wonder if we can get, get some additional light sources around the edges of the perimeter? Oh, she's back. She's okay. So for those who didn't see it, this mysterious woman who keeps... I, I don't know if she's, like, unique. I don't know if it's just the one woman, or if there are multiple just like her. But she's wearing... She's wearing, like, a... Like a, 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 like a swimsuit, almost. And she's... I don't think she's feral, because she knows how to dance. Who taught her how to dance? But she seems to be running wild and eating berries and doesn't seem to approach the camp. Well, she does, but like she's clearly inquisitive. But I know not what her deal is. I wonder if perhaps she's the daughter. I wonder if her name is Virginia. A nod to the first game. Okay, get some couple of benches just to sit. Oh God, but yeah, we're doing this again. The fucking bone chandeliers. Yes, I should try and hunt... Oh, wall torches. Hang on. That would be very handy. Get a few of these to get some additional sources of light. Nice. Okay, my character's quite thirsty. Alright. Can I reinforce the bonfire? I'll try. Hang on. Is there another step that I can take? Another log, maybe? It's getting a bit dark. Okay. Need to watch out, because we could be attacked. How many arrows do I currently possess? Uh, that's my bow. Okay, I've got quite plenty of spears. Do I have no arrows at all? Any feathers from the birds? There we go, I've got some feathers. Haven't seen a bird land there yet, though. Okay, 
Whoops. One, two, three. Okay. Then combine. Neat little an animation. There we go. Draw the rest of the fucking owl. Where do the arrows go, though, for future reference? They are... Oh, wait a minute. I, I took the radio with me? Holy shit. I took the radio. Um, fucking Kelvin, look. You, you're deaf. You won't appreciate this. Hang on. Place. I found this in uh, next to a dead camper. Weirdly. I don't know how he died. He, he didn't... His camp wasn't savaged by the cannibals. Whoops. Hang on. Equip. Then place. There we go. And then... E to pick it up. But how do we interact with it? Maybe we can't when it's on the ground? Oh, really? Oh, we can only pick it up. Hold E. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. I wonder if the music keeps the cannibals away, because that guy's camp was untouched. The music was still playing when I arrived. Okay. Let's save it and sleep. Oh, brilliant, Kelvin. Thank you. Good man. that off. Let's go to sleep, because it's too dark now, Kelvin. Give it a save. We've got arrows now. My health is still relatively low. Hang on, I'm very, very thirsty. I definitely need to find a turtle shell, so we can get some rainwater. A quick drink. Yeah, not good. Getting hurt. Okay. So... Shit. Are they here? They're here. Enemies nearby. Oh, okay. One trick on the trap. One did. Can I reset the trap quickly? Okay. Trap reset. What's he doing? Oh, does he do it? Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Kelvin. Nice. Very helpful. Okay, so Kelvin resets the traps. Also, thank you, chat. Right. Grab him. Right. So it's almost as though the, the newer cannibals, at least the ones on this peninsula, they don't appear to be as heavily modified insofar as... Well, yet... They haven't got peace at fucking hell. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Piss off. You came here, motherfucker. I see, he's trying to knock the wall down. Another one? Someone's messing with the rocks. Who's that? Yeah, another one. Do you look different? Are you part of the same tribe? Hmm. Ah, I see. You've got a fucked up face. Looks like a deformity as opposed to a... Yeah, one step forward. Bye-bye. So your head has a deformity on it. Look. Where's it going? Sorry, is it too dark? You can't see? He had like a weird growth on his mouth. Very strange. 
Okay, let me get back my stuff. Hang on. Right, what's that there? Arrow, arrow, question mark. What's this? Ugh. What the fuck? No, what the fuck? Dude! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with him? Why fucking eat it? Jesus! Okay. No, I'm not going to pick that up. Okay, just tap it. There we go. <laughs> God, fuck. I is he going to take a bite out of that guy's bum? No, he's just going to pick it up. Jesus Christ. There we go. God fucking hell. Click carefully. There we go. Raw leg collected. Jesus Christ. Okay. Don't eat. Why is that a right click? Okay. Get rid of... Why are we collecting this shit? Hang on. Equip. And then fucking right click. There we go. Fucking right click. That's true. Bone armor. I forgot about that. Oh, God. Are we wearing human corpses? Is that a thing we have to do? Again? Wait, aren't we wearing a ballistic vest? What What the fuck was torn off my... I had the word press... The word press... On something. I assume I'm wearing a ballistic vest. I have no reason to wear bone armor. Right? Okay, let's go to sleep. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, is that is that a thing? Uh, as in, have I... Have I just pointed out a singular... Like, a potential thing? Because in the first game I was talking about that... Okay, we're clearly a civilian who is on an airline. We weren't prepared for this. But wait, aren't we... Aren't we part of a private military thing that's prepared to go into a place? Wouldn't we be wearing a stab vest? He's wearing a stab vest. Look. That's Kevlar. He's wearing Kevlar. Why is there a golf cart? Good question. Whoops. No, 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 no. Good question. Why is there a golf cart? <laughs> Look, can you sit there? Oh, that's for co-op. How cool is that? Okay. Pick this up. We don't play it. Alright, place it. Place it. There we go. Right way around this time. Okay, so I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, so I'm definitely struggling to feed and, yeah, everything. Can I get a, a, a yeah, a, a, a cook, a, an oven going so I can cook things properly? Well, we don't really need to, despite his weird way of doing it. This is... Yeah, we can cook fish on the fire. Okay, so eat fish. Okay, salmon. Okay. Yes, find a turtle. That would be a good idea. Let's go down to the beach in a moment. The beach is just down there. So press... Wait, where are you going to throw the fish now that it's a huge bonfire? You're not going to throw... What's that? Hang on. Head. Head of what? Oh, there's a human head. Why the f- That's a human head. Why? <laughs> Why is it there? What is that? Hang on. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. Okay. Is it because the fire's too big? I can't throw these things on this fire. Right. My bad. I made a huge bonfire. Now I can't cook with it. Okay. So let's... Press B. Go to... Uh, utility? 
Uh, rain catcher, stone. There we go. Let's make the, yeah, put down a fireplace. An oven. Put it over here. Okay. Spin it. So this would be the traditional way of building back from the yeah. Oh, I see. It requires those really big flat rocks. Okay. These things. Right. Okay, so there's a different type of rock. Right. Let's get this done and then we can cook stuff. Alright. Anyway, sorry for those joining, I hope you're okay. Um, having a look at the uh, the sequel to The Forest, which is Sons of the Forest. I'm playing as, I assume, a journalist, because I had a vest that said, that said the word press on it. And I was on a helicopter that was coming here to this strange peninsula. It, on my lap, during the helicopter journey, there was a, a laptop with the pictures of three people called Puffton. Uh, I think it was Edward something, was it Bianca? And Virginia. And I think we're meant to be a rescue mission. For seven months ago, they went missing. Now, on my map, which I do have, I've got like a GPS marker, there are three different markers, and I wonder if perhaps they're leads to the Puftons. But I don't truly know who I am or what's going on here. I do know that when we crashed, so just before we crashed, I heard a sound which sounded a lot like automatic weapons fire, and then the helicopter went down. And also a gentleman on the beach hit me, pistol whipped me with a, with a gun. He said, uh, who invited you here? And then hit me. But he did not help me, nor kill me, so I don't know what his deal was. Oh, arrows. Those are the ones I fired earlier. Ah, I'm here as well. Uh. Okay, keep finding more. Okay, am, am I dying due to lack of water? I think so. I need to drink something. Yeah, we need to go find that turtle shell. Okay. If I'm pressed, why do I think it's a rescue mission? Well, I think these... Well, I, I presume the heavily armed guys wearing uh, ballistic vests... Sorry, they weren't heavily armed. They didn't have guns. I assume they're a rescue mission. I don't know yet. There's much I don't yet know. But additionally, I keep spotting a young woman on the perimeter of the base who looks suspiciously like it. she might be one of the three Puftons. And something's wrong with her. She has multiple limbs now. So I'm guessing she's encountered one of the mysterious obelisk things that were the crux of the plot for the first game. There are these strange... well... unknown artifacts that are built into the mountainside, so massive you can't move them. And they seem to be all... well, not always... Up. one of them was on a mountain, but most of the time they're deep underground. I wonder if perhaps the Puftons have been fed into these machines? It said he was a CEO of Puffton... Puff Corp, or whatever it was. Puffton something? Maybe a competitor to Sahara, the pharmaceutical company that was messi messing with the first one? I'm guessing they were probably fiddling with the obelisks. Right. Okay, I need to go drink something. Nearly done with this oven. Put this away. Drink. There we go. Yeah, true. Should just eat berries. Hang on. Eat some berries. So what are the other berries? Let's have a look at those, sorry. Combine on the energy mix. Oh, interesting. So there's one type of flower that I haven't found yet. Cool. So get rid of that, if you please. Remove. What's this? Wire. Combine. 
Oh wow. GPS locator, shock 3D print arrow? Shock arrows, what the fuck? Cool. Explosive arrows? Things I have not yet located. Neat. Hang on to the wire. Batteries can be combined with a chainsaw. Tech armor. Tech armor. High explosive. Sticky bombs. What's this thing? The lighter. Neat. Okay. Oh, yes, I do have a club. Zip line. I've still got an MRE kicking around. I'll eat that now. Sloppy Joe. <laughs> just chuck. Don't worry about littering, dude. You know, just chuck it into the fucking water, why don't you? Right. Thank you, the anxious Kiwi. Right. Oh, yes, I did see... Uh, so I noticed uh, last night when I was uh, uh, considering what to stream that evening, be it Helldivers or, uh, or this again, I noticed that there was a small update, a very, very small update for Sons of the Forest. Curious as to what the update would be. It was only about 64 megabytes. Nothing big. Curious in insofar as what it could be. I went to the patch notes to discover bat sounds in the caves have been turned down a bit. <laughs> Better late than never! <laughs> Fucking hell. What's it been, 10 years? Right. Jesus Christ, yeah. Praise the Lord. There we go. I'm tired. I am? Middle of the day. Oh wait, did you build that dude? Holy shit, thank you. Right. So, let's get some food cooked, shall we? Uh, six maybe? I'm guessing? Yeah, there we go. Stick. Uh, cancel that. Stick. Alright, there we go. Right, so we have a full-on oven. Wait, if you built a full-on oven, are you really... Hang on a second. Are you going to throw the fish just on the fire? What's the point? Hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's E, right? Okay, here we go. I'm getting rid of those because... Holy shit. What's the point of building an oven if you're just going to throw the fish onto the fire? The whole point of building an oven is to transfer the heat up away from the flame so the food does not have direct contact with the flame. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> it's a fireplace. It literally says oven. It literally. S oh no! I'm wrong. I apologize. I'm very, very wrong. It does say fireplace. I misunderstood. I'm wrong. Still, is it that hard to put like a tray up there to keep it away from the flame? That was quick. Nice. Right. Here we go. And then he eats it like a weirdo. What is wrong with you? Okay. Right. So, let's get a bit of sleep then. And then, let's go exploring. I definitely need... Yeah, I definitely need... I need to find a turtle shell. That's for sure. Oh, I can't sleep now. Okay. Let's go. Cook the head. I'm not cooking the fucking head. Let's get rid of the head. Why do we have the head? Hang on, fucking... Don't eat it. Equip this and then fling it. I can't fling it? Okay, I can't fling it. Right, I'll be back soon, Kelvin. You stay safe, yeah? What have I got? I've got my bow and arrow. So. Here we are. So this is the river basin. We haven't really explored this area. I wonder if any additional things have washed up. Let's have a look. So there's Kelvin. That's the camp. The GPS keeps flickering. I wonder if that's significant or just a, a thing. Hang on. So let's have a quick explore around. There's another marker just up the river. I haven't checked out that, have I? Or have I? No, I haven't checked out that one. Let's, let's just wander. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for a turtle. What's wrong with his thumb? Eh, it's 
bit knobbly, but it's otherwise fine. Now, place bets. Are we going to find the the the, the mass bodies of a solitary hunter, uh, apex predator like a shark, on the beach? Yes, apex buckets. Now, weirdly, the helicopter crash site site is still marked, so I wonder if perhaps I can get sir. Oh my god, did I just call it? <laughs> did I just did I just call it? Hang on. What the fuck? There's a hand in its mouth. Belly ripped open. Did the cannibals stuff that in there? What is that? It's a life jacket stuffed in its mouth. Hmm. Paddle. Someone's shoe. Did they attack somebody? Did I, did, I, did they attack a kayaker, maybe? Yeah, I like the detail on the carrion birds. Let's keep exploring. Maybe I should head inland a bit. So where does that go? That moves around to another basin. Let's see. Yeah, let's go inland. Let's head that way and see what we can find. Oh shit, you're right. Um, Captain, I should have... I, I forgot that I had that. I should have taken the golf cart. There's another fire over there. Grab some berries. In case I need to eat them later. So why the fuck is there a golf cart here? What would necessitate bringing a huge golf cart? Many, I've seen like three of them, right? Does a corporation have like a... an underground series of tunnels that require golf carts to navigate them? Very pretty, isn't it? Just like Subnautica, this game, yeah, it, it, it's got a lovely aesthetic to it. Very nice um, foley and overall ambience as well. Sorry, I know it, I know it sounds like I'm just sort of like nitpicking on the fine details. It's quite impressive. It feels. Like it feels like they haven't done what uh, Bohemia have done, which is just like put down a bunch of random bird song, like uh, pieces of logic floating, and then you can approach them. It feels like, you know, it feels properly done. Ugh. 
Where was that fire? I saw a fire. Didn't you see a fire? I do need to be careful because if I... D there it is. If I die, that's it. There's no getting captured now. Hear that? Sounds like chanting, screaming. Chanting, singing. Moaning. What was it doing? That guy was on his knees before that effigy. Mourning? Praying? And he's humming. They're not in the cave networks though, these cannibals. Thank you, Lone Star. Three, four. They're moving. Have I been spotted? Are they going on a hunt? If they move... They move away from the camp. That's true. I haven't seen them eat human flesh, but I've demonstrably accidentally eaten human flesh, so maybe I'm the cannibal in this situation. No, he's gone back. Got an idea. What happens if I... Uh Unlike puller. What is that eye? Is that that eye icon? Is that before I fall asleep? Pass out, maybe? Yeah, they're praying. He's walking up to that effigy and just going, ah. I mean, same. We've all been there. That's Monday, really, isn't it? Oh, I see. Sorry, no. The eye icon is my visibility. Ah! Oh, that's cool. That's much better than the original. So I'm completely invisible and you can't see me. <laughs> Oh, shit, hold on. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. Shh, shh, shh. You can't see me. You can't see me. That was quite cool though, holy shit. Did you see the emotion on the model? Sorry, uh, he fell. I tried to help him, but it was too late. Whoa. Okay, I mean, I think I might be in a bit of a pickle. Shit, 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 shit. Thank you, teapot. Am I safe? Self. Okay. <coughs> oh god, you can't see me. <laughs> I thought I was fully hidden there. 
Maybe I need to make some camouflage. That's true. The peaceful natives are minding their own business, just humming and, and enjoying the, the lovely afternoon, when a random verified cannibal uh, came out of the f forest and killed Dave. Okay. So this cliff leads straight down onto the beach. What's that over there? Oh, fuck, sorry. Let's click. My arrow probably flew down there and killed killed, Lin, uh, killed Linda, gathering berries. The cannibals have a meeting. There's a murder on the loose. Right. Let's track this way. Eat some berries? What's that blue bar, sorry? Is that my energy? Probably low, partially because I haven't slept. Stamina level. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for plants that I haven't collected yet. Okay. What's that over there? Oh, interesting. Hang on. So there are lots of dead bodies strung throughout the trees. They look quite old, but look at these ones. Oh, look. Same model as before. So they're old men wearing robes, holding hands. Why do they have flowers on their heads? Oh, no, not again. Okay. So what was that, sorry? I found like a leaflet or a pamphlet or something. I didn't fully read it. Where was it? It was like the followers of the something. Oh, hang on a minute. Here it is. Cult pamphlet. You will find meaning in life again. For more information, scan the code in, uh, inside the invitation to be taken to our website portal. No, no, no. Go, go back. Go back. Go back. Turn, turn around. How do I flip it? Can't. Damn it. Click it again. I want to read the back. <coughs> Hang on. Oh, shit. There we go. Healing yourself for a better world. Interactive world shop. Uh, workshop. Oh. An eye. A circle with an eye in it. What's that about? People were yeah, praying to it. Okay. Bingo night. <laughs> Did it say bingo night? Okay, so cultists are here. Their bodies mostly untouched. Right. What's that there? Sorry. Did I find this type of... Yeah, sorry, same type of berry. Oh, question mark. Here we go. What's this? Don't eat it. Oh, is that a strawberry? Oh, what was that? Is that a strawberry? Oh, no blackberries. Nice. Yummy. Oh, she's here. Wait, what's that in her hand? Is she unique, I wonder? Sorry, for those joining the stream, this mysterious woman with multiple limbs. I keep finding her all over the place. She looks similar to a Virginia, which is a type of monster from the first game. And there is a missing daughter of the CEO, I, I assume, called Virginia. I've not gotten close enough to see her face. What is in her hand? No, she's scared of me. She's very curious. She dropped what she was... Yeah, she dropped it. What were you holding?
Was it just like a... Some leaves or something? Oh. Have we got company? We do. I think you should... She's pointing out the danger. I think we need to run. Shit, there's one behind you. We need to run. Yeah, that's... Is that her? Her hairstyle looks very similar, I think. That might actually be her. Shit, I'm running this way, Virginia. Better get out. But yeah, but she better get out of there. She's the one with the three legs. She she doesn't have a problem running. Okay, hang on. Where the fuck am I? I'm getting confused. Fuck. Uh, oh wait, I'm right. Oh, cool, I ran home. Right. Let me see. I wonder. Can I get some camouflage or something? Is there a way of making it a little easier to hide? So for those who haven't actually seen the first forest game, the artifacts that are present in this in well so, sorry, well the fact that there's a sequel now, and I'm assuming that there are artifacts here, and the fact that the cannibals are here, and there's yeah, so th some things are by the presence of the sequel, some things are making sense now. So I'm guessing the artifacts are causing the cannibals. But also, she is mutated, which is something you don't typically see. Because normally it only works. Normally the artifacts only work on kids. So why is she mutated? Okay. And where's the mother and the father? And where's Kelvin? There he is. He's fine. Okay. Hang on a second. Place this down on the on the um, gravel. Oh, I've got a couple of pot noodles. Hey. Um. What the? Don't eat it dry. You can't. <laughs> Put some boiling water in it, you savage! I'm British! I'm British and I'm critiquing you for this! How is this even possible? Jesus! Put boiling water up to the fill mark, put in the little sachet of flavouring, and then go, ha, ha, ha. It's too hot and you should have waited, but you were too hungry because, frankly, you've been working for three hours on a YouTube video that still isn't done, even though it's two weeks overdue. And you're just desperate for something to eat. So of course you have a pot noodle. Of course you stuff your face and get boiling water and packets of noodle flavourings down your shirt. Which you've been wearing for four days and really should have picked a different one. But the washing hasn't been done and the plates are, the plates are stacked up in the kitchen. And I'm fine. Right. Sorry. Um, what was I doing? Just don't look at me. Um... Let's, uh, what was I doing? I was trying to find... Uh, fuck, what was I doing? I opened this for a reason. Oh, yeah, that was it. So. Can I find tech armor, sticky bomb? What was that thing about leaf armor? Is that like a... Can I camouflage myself, I wonder? Where are the leaves? Can you see them? So mushroom. Oh, here they are. So leaves combine. Leaf armor. What does that do? I wonder. Leaf armor. So take the cloth. Just put leaves on them. <laughs> okay. Nothing to stick it on. Just okay. Leaf armor. Where? What does that mean? Did I do it? I did. I have a patch of green. I wonder. Does that help with stealth? Hmm. Okay, what's this? Skin pouch. Ugh. Open that. Why does that have a zipper? How is it the cannibals know how to put a zipper on a skin pouch? They haven't found something more appropriate than skin. Hang on. Ooh, meds. Eat. Uh, just take for now. What am I doing? Right. That was the wrong thing. Surprised he took it out of the packet, frankly. Right. So, um... 
Let's go. What else can I make? Combine. Repair tool. Cool. Remove. Open another one. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for these. These seem super useful. Right. So what about... Oh, am I doing this? I guess I'm doing this. What happens if we... Oh, she's here. She's very, very inquisitive. I wonder if there's a way that I can convince her that I'm not the enemy. Cooked fish. I can only eat it like a weirdo. Don't eat one of those in front of her. You'll scare the absolute shit out of her. Hmm. Give money. <laughs> I don't think she understands the concept of money. Also, that's rude. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> Printer resin. Backpack add items. Jesus Christ. Am I walking around with a human head on the fucking back of it? Probably look terrifying. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. For real? Does the interface actually... If I pan up... Is the... Is the fire there? Nah, maybe it's hidden. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, we're losing the light, so we have to sleep anyway. My character's desperate. Oh, hang on a minute. That purple. If I just stay in the camp and rest, does, does it go up? Maybe I should put down like a... Uh, like a hang on. Oh, sweet. Take two of these. Energy. Oh, of course, the energy bar. Ah, thank you. Whoopsie. Thank you, Jack. Hang on. Take these. Put these in my hand. Just throw them down like a petulant child. Why don't you? Okay. Can I put down a bench to sit on? Let's put a bench here, shall we? Then paint the items. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Can I sit on it? I can. Ah. Kelvin, I've made a seat. He's deaf. He can't hear me. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Indeed, that's what I'm thinking, Yona. But I'm not sure how to offer food. Hey, Kelvin. He's wandering off. Alright. Let's go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Try to sleep with this blaring. There we go. Oh, Kelvin. What are you sleeping with? Sticks? That looks like a weirdly uncomfortable way to sleep, dude. Is your head floating? Why don't you put the sticks beneath your head? <laughs> Are you alright? You are a strange individual, Kelvin. And so are you! Surrounded by weirdos. Absolute weirdos. Not me, though. I'm... Not me, though. I'm perfectly... Perfectly sane. Mm -mm. Mm. Right. Okay. I'm thirsty. Sorry. Apologies. You better not have weed in this, lady. Right. Yes, I do need to find that turtle shell. Oh, she's drinking from it as well. Did she do that anyway, or did she mimic me? Hmm. Again, sorry, I know I mentioned this last stream. I hope she is important to the plot, because that would be quite interesting, I think. So, uh, rather than just put in the NPC thing as like a, lol, why not? 
it would be cool if they made the uh, the sort of the central plot point like reveal itself earlier if you know what I mean she's walking on tiptoes like a ballet dancer she's going up to the fire and resting by it that's good Is she? Okay. I'm sick. Oh fuck, I'm sick. Damn it. Okay, am I losing health probably? Not sure. Hmm. Right, let's get back out there and keep exploring then. So, that leaf armor is relatively easy to make. So let me just quickly get a bunch of this. Does that, if that will help with my stealth, then hooray. There we go. Yeah, if I can just hide myself a bit better, you know? So where? Okay. I've got the pills. I'll save them. That Yeah, I'll save them until I get properly, properly, you know, low health. Yeah, I've got quite a few items of cloth as well. All right. Right. But yeah, for those just passing through the stream, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm yeah. So please know, I'm trying to deliver an armor bullshittery for you, but it's in its fifth week of work, and I'm struggling to properly polish it. Uh, beneath this live stream, in the first in the in the first tile, is a Google sheet where I'm sort of listing some of the problems that I'm facing in the in the QA phase. Oops! Don't do that. Yeah, so give me, oh, I don't know, give me a few more days. Okay. Uh, how much more? Yeah, one more, I think. Then, yeah, save the other, the other, the other um, piece of cloth. Okay. So hopefully, I'm a little bit more hidden. Let's go out again. Sorry, pardon me, lady. Maybe I should save it before I get fucking killed. Yeah. Go around her, leave her in peace. Kelvin, be careful, this strange lady is by our fire. Save. Wait, is she gonna react with fear? She's walking towards me. Does she still fear? Yeah, look at her face. Yeah, she's not sure. She clearly does want to be around us, though. There we go. Kelvin, I'll be back later. I'm just going to see what's about. So for those joining who aren't sure what's going on, I'm playing as, I think, a journalist. We were on a helicopter, two helicopters, that I think were shot down. Before they crashed, I heard automatic weapons fire and uh, the glass on the helicopter started breaking. The helicopter crashed in the water just over there, in fact. Some of the survivors, I think, well, I assume some of the dead bodies, hmm, were uh, skewered against the rocks. And a mysterious guy with a pistol attacked me. Uh-oh. Is there even a way through? Oh god, it's making me nauseous. Cave entrance. Let's have a quick poke in. Carefully. <laughs> oh jeez! Fuck. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! <sighs> Up to their old tricks, eh? End night. Why is it boarded up? This hasn't been used for a while. Wait, something has power. 
Wait, the mercenaries. From the helicopter, one of them survived? How did he get through the plank? Did he board it up? Who's that? Sundowner, what does that say? I don't know. I don't think it's the girl. No, it's a, I think it's a model. Ammunition. Snacks. Yeah, hold on. The crew of the other helicopter, maybe? Wait, hang on. This doesn't make any sense. There were four people aboard our helicopter, right? And we know that at least two of them... We, we've, we've accounted for two of them. One, two, three, four, five. There's too many people. Well, unless many people were crammed onto the other little bird. Unless they're part of a different team. That have been here a while. But they haven't badly decomposed. And this still has power. This has to be a fresh team. Flares. A laptop that's hooked up to something. Site map. What's this? New location discovered. Entertainment bunker. What the fuck does that mean? Entertainment bunker. Interesting though. Sorry, from a mechanical perspective. I wonder if... Hang on. It does, doesn't it? Oh, satellite link missing. Of course. So just like I, I, sorry, just like I was talking about in the first, in that video, I wonder if exploring underground locations could potentially reveal other locations. What's this? Air tank, more ammunition. They still have power. What's this? Puff Corp outbids Sahara Therapeutics for Remote Island. Okay. So Puff Corp is a competitor to Sahara. Outbids. Location of island is still unknown. Does it say unknown? It's hard to read. Can I say? Oh, zoom, sorry. Location of island is still unknown. Lawyers are under strict NDA regarding sale. I can't read it. It's quite dark. In the intense and closely watched auction that went down to the wire, pharmaceutical giant Puff Corp, oh fuck, another pharmaceutical company, have successfully outbid their rivals, the Sahara Therapeutics, for exclusive rights to a remote uninhabited island. The island will serve as the base for groundbreaking anti-aging research, oh fuck, a new frontier in, in medical science. The auction, overseen by the government that holds jurisdiction over the remote island, was among the most competitive in, age, in recent history. Both companies made substantial bids, but Puff Corp clinched the deal with a staggering final offer of 250 million that edged out. Really? No. That sounds real cheap for an island, and considering what could be here. 245 million bid. Yeah, that does seem insanely cheap for real estate. Just, you know, fucking a huge island. Especially if there's a magic fucking humanity changing artifact on it. Okay. High stakes for high rewards. Sorry, it's very hard to read. Zoom. Can I press down there? Does it shine through? No. Auction is considered a significant win for Puff Corp, which has been investing heavily in anti-aging research for the past several years. The island provides an isolated environment ideal for, for conducting something and experimenting uh, experiments that could revolutionise our understanding of the aging process. Yeah, good idea. Should we grab it and read outside? Hang on. 
Sorry, this is quite important. This probably explains who the fuck we are. What's going on? What this island is? Oh shit, oh shit, it's back. It's back. Is that the s Okay, hang on. So it's not attempting to land. It's looking at the crash site. It's flying off in the same direction. Okay. Many questions. Oh shit. Got bigger concerns. Fuck. Okay, hang on. Quickly. Hopefully without getting jumped. Soon. Text is quite hard to read. The acquisition. Uh, while Sahara Therapeutics lost the battle for the island, the company. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Hello! You know what? I'm getting out of here. Drop the note? No, I didn't. Did I? No, it's here. It's here. It's fine. The note's here. One of 50. Okay. Right. So, holy shit. So, Puff Corp is a large pharmaceutical company that has outbid Sahara, the antagonist from the first game. So, do we own this island? As in... These mercenaries that are coming here? Can I pick the lamp up? No, I can only turn it on or off. Creepy. Turn the game sound down. Is it too loud? Sorry. I'll turn it down. How's that? Something's running around. Oh, no, it's just the bats. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck me, fucker biscuit. Thank you, Rybite. Rybite. Right, Thank you very much, Rybite. God damn it, end night. Or end light. End light, end night. Oh, they're doing it again, aren't they? Okay. So a completely different ecosystem of cannibals are doing this sh stacking body parts thing. Fingers. Jaws covered in fingers and toes. So one can assume that, yes, it has to be the artifacts doing this. They have to be connected. So the artifacts are somehow, look at this, influencing the cannibals into pulling things apart. What's that? Just a random piece of meat. No, don't eat that. More bats. Jesus Christ. That skeleton is in the ceiling? What's this shit growing on the ceiling? Like 
polyps or something. Looks fantastic though, doesn't it? What the fuck? So were they all rescue teams? Again, it's still powered. What is that shit? There's goo in the ceiling with stuff and lodged in it. Look. Transparent gunk. Oh, wait, could these be the people without eyes? Fuck. What is wrong with that lady? Something was on her face. What the fuck is this? There's like a bubbly goo or something. It's like a resin and shit stuck in it everywhere. Crosses, upside down crosses. Are they just graves that they pulled in and stuck there? Look. ropes of it. Like a fungus. Nothing I've seen before in any in any of the previous. Look. Oh 
shit. This doesn't look like a cannibal. They're wearing... Look, they've been embedded into the resin. They've just been late as if it's trying to consume them. Reaction to the heat. Shit, am I in trouble? I might have been in trouble. That was stupid, that was stupid, that was stupid. I think that was stupid. I might have been stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. Ouch! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Don't do that. Torch, they can see it. Fuck. Ouch. Does not want to go down. That's all my armor gone. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That was real stupid. Real stupid. I got no. No, I got some meds. Eat. Eat, 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 eat. Okay. Take out the club. Where's the club? Right, club, club, club. Jesus, I'm nearly dead. That was fucking eerie. Wait. Is that just the effect of the light? Or is it skin transparent? Light the torch? No way. I heal. I don't think so. Something's in the darkness standing there. Good idea, Legion. It's not a bad idea at all. Maybe if I light up, if I fling a rock, I can get the, well, make a noise. Distract them. Oh, they're just skeletons, sorry. Damn it, I can't break open the crates without attracting attention. But there might be meds in here. I was wrong. It worked. No, it did not. It did the exact opposite of what I wanted. Food. It didn't react. Jesus Christ, they're creepy. Shit. Fuck. Oh, they oh, fuck me. Bloody hell! That's nasty! Okay. I think I'm going to need some bone armor to survive that. Okay. So, creepy nasties in the cave. Cannibals who's, yeah, who's, well, they don't have any eyes at all. They've been heavily mutated by something. And they too are stacking up body parts in fucking weird displays. Hmm. Okay. 
Right. Anyway, sorry. Oh, there's quite a few people watching. Hi there, everyone. So I'm just going to pour a quick drink. Right. Alas, that's us losing our progress. We're back to the camp before we took the before we took the golf cart out, and before the helicopter flew over. Damn. Also, we should probably stop by the cave entrance just to get the location that we uh, entertainment cave. What does that mean? Entertainment room. Right. Okay, so some bone armor would be a good idea. For those joining, this is a mysterious woman that keeps turning up. She's clearly inquisitive, but also quite nervous, uh, uh, quite afraid of us. She's very heavily mutated. Hmm. Wait, was there? Did you see an icon on her? W was it a note? Can I... Can I... Wait, what was that? E? Oh, hello. Oh, I can give her stuff. Hang on. Uh, fuck. Uh, where's my... Wait, what's this? Don't, don't, don't give a random lady a gun. You could look like a psychopath. Give her a, a piece of food or something. Yeah, I'd be weirded out too, frankly. Um, hang on. Wait a minute. Does that mean that if I go up behind Kelvin... Where is he? Kelvin? Can I interact with your backpack? E? No, I can give you a note. Okay, maybe I could have given her food. Hmm. What what are you holding? Let me try that again. Oh wait, what the fuck? You caught a fish! Oh my god! Well done you! Oh my god! Wow, thank you! Thank you very much! How kind of her. She bought me a fish. Hang on. Maybe she's maybe she's mocking me. Maybe it's a really big fish. She's like you fucking amateur here. This is how you catch a fish, motherfucker. Okay, hang on. Raw fish. There we go. Wait a minute. That's Kelvin. I thought she was cho chopping down a tree. <laughs> Just kicking it with her third leg. Okay. No? It's cooked. There we go. Um, in real life, folks, um, yeah, so a few days ago, a few weeks ago, in fact, I bought, like, um, so it turns out you can get, like, fish boxes, like a loot box, but for fishing. Uh, essentially, the local harbour here on the south coast of the UK, uh, you basically just order a box of whatever they catch in the morning. And so um, I ordered one of these, and it arrived a few weeks ago, and it was, yeah, just like, here's, like, some, some flatfish that they caught on the boat. So it, it was a whole bunch of fillets, you see, uh, in, in a box. And I had one of them, and then I froze the rest, and they were quite tasty. Like local fish, basically. So, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to order another one later this week. I'm trying to be better with my diet. Sorry, this is going to sound very fucking sad. I'm 37, and my diet is such that I can't just do what I did when I was 18, which is, whatever, Chinese, burger, fine. Alcohol, fine. You know, all the fat. Just pour it straight into my, into my mouth. My, my, I, I'm feeling elderly. Like, it feels like, oh god, I'm getting weird pains in places where I shouldn't be getting pains. And it's like, oh dear. And it, what does the doctor say? Fix your diet. So it's like, okay. So I'm having to cut red meat, well, cut back on the fat, the cholesterol, have a lot more whole wheat. Um, yeah. A lot more water, less Coca Cola. Hang on. I don't know, Charles. She's very mysterious. I don't know who she is or what she is. She 
She doesn't react with as much fear. No, 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 sorry. Oh, no, I see. She thinks she's hiding behind the tree. She's slightly misaligned with the tree. She's very inquisitive. Right, hang on. If I just press E, can I give you a fish? If I sort this way? No, I can only give you... I don't know what these are, sorry. I think we're gradually... Yeah, she's a lot more relaxed around us. She's eating berries. Okay. I think she might be. I think this might be one of the... I think... I think she might be Virginia, the girl that we're here to rescue. She looks exactly like her. She can't speak, though. Why? Why can't she speak? Okay. Right, I... Shit. Okay. Well, the weather's turning. I need to find... Some... Yeah, I need to find some proper armor. Right, so what should I do? I guess keep exploring, frankly. What's the time? It's already 20 past 1. Running out of time. Okay. Let's get out there quickly and keep exploring. I did get myself killed. Right, save. Still wearing my stealth armor. Oh, shit. What are they doing? They're, no, 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 Kelvin! Is he okay? Get off Kelvin! Kelvin, I can heal you. Fuck. You get off Kelvin! Fuck, where's the club? Where's the club? Where's the club? Where's the club? Give me the club. Ouch. Little bastard. Fuck you. Come on, little cunt. Don't you hurt Kelvin. Ah. Okay. I see. Shit, is she okay? Right, hang on. Take this body. Throw that down. That's Kelvin. You okay, man? He's fine. What is going on here? Is he simply wearing a shirt that he's found? So he's wearing some bits of armor. Someone's face. No, look. Okay, hang on. This is a really fucking bad sign. Can I flip him round? That's not what we're wearing, is it? Kelvin, what are you wearing? Trousers. What's under your ballistic vest? Stop a minute. Hold. No, you're wearing camo. I'm just wondering if it, 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 if it was the Puffton uniform or something. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering, Crimson. Jesus Christ. Is this really a cannibal tribal? Or is it somebody who's gone mad? Okay. Are we going to have to do exactly what I did before? Hang on. Let's have a look. What happens if I take bones, combine... Oh god, here we go again. Right. Here we go again. Zipline bone armor. What's that, what's that last icon? Is it wire? No. Uh, I've got it. Oh, is it duct tape? It is. Okay. Bone armor. There we go. So a blip of white next to my health bar. Here we go again.
Oh wait, his clothes burn off him? Oh wow, holy shit, wait a minute. The model is deforming, look. How cool. I see, it's turning into the, ske the burnt skeleton model. How cool. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Heads. Bones. Nice, that is cool. I like that. Yeah, the developers put some love into this, didn't they? Okay. Right, so... Hang on. So place down more bones. I've got quite a bit of duct tape now. Hey, okay. yeah, get some proper protection. The leaves are only gonna, uh, are only going to do so much. Uh, for those who didn't see uh, the prior YouTube video that I made, I, there was this extensive sequence where I essentially went down the rabbit hole of what the fuck. The dude is making armor out of body parts, which was particularly weird in the first forest game because you crash land in a metal plane that's still there. You could just take you could just take pieces of metal off the plane. There's literally metal scattered all over the place. Attach it to yourself just fine. Why am I holding this like that? Put that away. There we go. Hello. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, hello. Uh Did, can we get her something a bit more appropriate to dress to, to wear? <laughs> she's she's almost naked. Um, what's she doing? That's a good idea. Hang on a minute. Is that a thing? Can I literally make clothing? Hide armor. Okay, definitely look for some hides. Yeah, see if we can hunt a deer. Okay. One moment. What about arrows? Is it because last time I tried to hunt deer, I would just hit them with a single stone in the first game. I'd hit them with a single arrow and they just bog off. Okay. So I presume I haven't found the poison berries necessary to, you know, help with hunting. Yes, you're right, Mega. I do need to do that. I, I keep saying to do it and then I have it. Yeah. I need to go find that turtle shell. No turtle shell, no fresh water. drinking and cleaning herself. She seems okay. She seems like she, does, she doesn't see, it doesn't seem to need me. Right. Okay. So let's go find one of these turtles. So if I go this way. Alistair, why do I have a golf cart? I'm not sure. That's another, another mystery. Put a pin in it. Hang on, that's not the path. So I found multiple golf carts with um, with dead construct what well, looked like construction workers with drills and masks. Oh, I also found a piece of paper explaining that Puff Corp have bought an island, which I presume is this one. So does that mean they have a large complex necessitating the use of golf carts to get around? This is fun though, I'm enjoying this. As you can probably tell, I'm getting sucked into the forest again. I look forward to playing this cooperatively. Right. Nice and careful. Look, over there, can you see those bodies? This is where we crash landed. Those were two other people from the helicopter. What's that? Just a log. Okay, look for a turtle. I know that I saw turtles here before. It's very pretty, isn't it?
Turtle shell, turtle shell. There you are. Sorry, Mr. Turtle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't like this bit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like this bit. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. We're doing the weirdo thing again, are we? Okay. Nice. Oh, look. It's even dripping blood. Oh, oh uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, nothing. I didn't do anything. You didn't see anything? Uh, that was there when I got here. Smiling. She followed me all the way down the beach. Wait, does she have toes or are they just in the sand? Yeah, you're really fucked up. Do you remember anything? No, she doesn't have toes. She's been so heavily mutated. She's not running away in fear anymore, at least. Also, I'm a little bit worried that she might be more than she appears to be. Remember what happened... Okay, we've managed to find the turtle shell. Would you like to get in? What's up there, sorry? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Anyway, sorry, for those joining the live stream, not sure of the context, I seem to be a member of the press, a journalist, I think, based on the fact that it was on my vest when I crash-landed here. Um, I, was, I was part of a, a two helicopters that were approaching this island, I think as part of a rescue mission for three people called Puffin. I think that might be one of them. A girl called Virginia, I think. The other two were, I think it was Bianca and Edward? The CEO of a Puffton Corp. They went missing here. So this is where I built initially. I, I just set up a little camp here with me and um, fucking Kelvin. Um, let me just break it down. Can I carry? I'll just carry what I can. There we go. And just break this down. Cool. Right. Yeah, the rest can stay here. Where is he? He's back at the other... I, I, I made a better camp. Okay, so. We got ourselves a turtle shell. So, that marker in front of me, I did go over there and explore. It turns out it was, um... It was a, a fucking, um... Grave. But I didn't have a shovel. Okay, hang on. Coconut cherry. Oh. Future bar. Protein for when you need it most. Really? There are fucking ads? Uh, Alistair sent me an important message. Hang on. What have you, what have you sent me? Let's have a look. Uh, Alistair sent, ha, sent a link. It's a picture of what? Let's have a look. Click this here. <laughs> do you, Alistair, do you want to link that in the chat? You're welcome to if you want. Oh, dear. Right, yeah, Alistair linked it. Okay. So, we've got the turtle shell, so that should be some fresh water at least. There she is, she's in the forest. She's just watching, wondering what I'm doing. 
power's still good. We've got a spare battery on us. We should, we should be fine. There's already fan art of the game. Indeed. Thank you, Ilsa. Also, uh, considering um, the young lady back there with three legs, I dread to think what a brief Google into Rule 34 is going to... Well, who am I kidding? I know exactly what I'm going to find. Hang on. So that cave down there, that's the one we've gone into. So we're making little forays out to see what we can find. Okay, so fresh water and food. We've got almost got, yeah, we've pretty much got both sorted, even though I'm eating the fish weird. Which way am I going? Go this way. I'm going to go straight down. All right. And at least now I can make some proper bone armor. Hey, Kelvin. I've got the turtle shell, ma mate. Even though you're deaf and you can't hear me. Hang on. Right, just stop here. Right. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Hang on. Right. So, rain catcher. Thank you, Kelvin. Let's put the rain catcher over here. There we go. Okay. Grim, but there you go. Why not just use a canvas, like a tarp or something? Cool. Kelvin's bringing in some logs. Good man. Right. Good. He's keeping it fill up, filled up as well. Put these sticks down. Put these sticks in my inventory. Take the logs that he's just gathered for me. Thank you, Kelvin. And keep expanding this perimeter fence, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Good plan, Batman. There we go. Why not use the buckets from the beach? Also a good shout. Why not use the buckets from the beach? <laughs> Jolly. Never mind. All right. Hell, why do we even need to do that at all? There's a, there's running fresh water from the river that is here. All right. Oh wow, does he fill up the fucking thing? Are you filling this up? All right. Cool, looking much better. So what I should probably do, thank you very much, Kelvin. I've got an idea. Let me put down... Hang on. So I didn't do this before, so let's go here to the book, and then we'll press... Hold down X to go back to this side. So floors... Cool. So, yeah, it's using the new... Yeah, so, yeah, put the layout and then put this here. But... Okay. Can I get a little platform so I can shoot up? What, so logs, logs... All right. Let's try that. So... What are we doing? No, I need that, Kelvin. Fuck. So what if I did this? So right click. Nope. Yep. Okay. Like this. Here. Right. And then. Sorry, Kelvin. I need these. Right. Then here. Is that correct? No. It's going to be slightly off-centered. But what am I doing here? I see. Okay, cool. Right, let me just go get the logs that he was gathering for me. Can I go through this without triggering it? Yeah, we're fine. Thank you, um, Kush, uh, Kushi, Kushi Kimi? Or Kushi Kaim? Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, yeah, maybe this is downstream from all the uh, cannibal villages. They're shitting in the lake the whole way down. Okay. This is cool. I like this. 
So compare and contrast to the first one, where you're just putting down the ghost of a thing and then painting it. Right. And then what? Sorry, what did the rest of the book say? Uh, okay, so half. Ah, okay, half, half ones. That's cool. Any of those left? Did they get destroyed? Oh. Some tunes. Yeah. Right, so now, in this new, in Forest 2, we can split them, like so. Alright. And then, like, oh wait, have I done that correctly? Why does it look so weird? I'm making a ramp. Is that correct? These are stairs. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> that doesn't look right to me. Hang on. Okay. Maybe it is? Am I just thick? Oh, see that? There we go. No? Yeah, am I, am I making roofing? Is that how I fucked up? How do I twist it? Oh, I see! Right click. Ah! Right. Neat. Cool. Can I climb it? Sort of. Not not well, but well enough. Okay. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll probably have like a... Well, obviously we'll, we'll finalise this eventually. We'll probably actually put a house here, or like a building. Ex extend the wall further out. And then... When we, when we hear sounds at night or whatever, traps out there... Yeah, I'm doing this. Kelvin could just fucking sit on his ass out there. Right. No, he's doing well though. I like the NPC thing. That's very cool. Thank you, Kelvin. Good job, mate. What you up to? Nice. Right. Where's the girl? Hope she's safe wherever she is. All right. What are you doing, honey bunny? You okay? How you feeling? No, look at her. For those unfamiliar, this is Lulu. She is a uh, seven and a half year old French bulldog. She's very cuddly. She's got a belly full of sausages and she's had lots of attention this morning. So she's fine. And pretty soon I'm going to go get on with editing and she'll flop on my lap and get lots of attention. Yeah. Or alternatively, ignore me and go sit on the radiator, which is warmer. Yeah. <laughs> so she's fine. Right. I know, time flies. She's getting elderly on me. Right. One more explore, then I, then I should go and get on with work today. Kelvin, do you want to come with? Is that a thing? Follow me, take clothing. What does that mean, take clothing? Take clothing. Oh, I see. Ah. So I can give him different armor. Okay. What else can I do? Follow me, take clothing. Clear five meters, take a break. Follow me. Alright. Turn the thing off. Save battery power. Does he get aboard the golf cart? Is he getting in? I don't think so. Is he just walking behind it? Okay, because it'll yeah, just, it'll just run alongside, won't he? But it's about to get really dark, so maybe going out would be a bad idea. Hang on. Let's sleep. Uh-oh. They're here, Kelvin. They're here, they're here, they're here. That one triggered a trap? Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, run him into one of my traps. Leave Kelvin alone! Leave him alone! He's sleeping! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. What's on your head? Follow me, you bastard. Oh, move out of the way! Oh shit, she's got something on her feet, is it? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh god. That one got fucking skewered. Oh, you're creepy. Move out of the way, lady! Move! Oh, look out! Oh, Jesus. Took that dude's leg off. Nice! 
It works multiple times. Is she okay? Oh my god, holy shit. It skewered them and then set them on fire. Fuck. You, again. Come on, come on, you little fucker. Come on. I see, that one's gravely wounded. What have you painted on your skull? Her brain? Can you limp away? Is she okay? Resetting the trap. Stay away from it. Is that just mud or blood on your feet? Yeah, where's, where's Kelvin? Kelvin, where are you, man? Fuck, where's Kelvin? He's marked. Where is he? He's over there. Kelvin. Can't fucking see shit right now. Where's Kelvin? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's this way. Climb my awkward stairs. There he is. He's running. He's, he's fine. He's running out over there. He's in the open. Oh look, he's trying to break the trap. Piss off! Look, this one's wearing clothes as well. Yeah, look! Look at you! Ah, fuck. Little bastard. Ah, fuck. Are you one of the cultists that went insane? Watch out, Kelvin. What's he doing? Eating something off the floor. Okay, we're okay. Bit awkward, but we're okay. Bones everywhere. Limbs everywhere. Grim. Okay, gather the bones and at least, yeah, try to make some replacement armor. So what happened to her? Is she washing herself? Yeah, she's okay. She's fine. It's just mud on her legs. I thought she might be injured. I see. Cool. She steps into the water and washes herself. Kelvin, you alright, man? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, can I give her a weapon? I, th I think I'd give her a gun. Hang on. Not, I don't know if she can use a gun. So what's this? Lit up. A pistol? I don't know what this is. It's some sort of orb. Like a... I don't know what that is. Looks like a, almost like a tracker? Wait a minute. What's that on Kelvin's chest? Kelvin, stand still for a second. It's that, isn't it? I can give her a blue light if I can find one. I think. Buttons on the side. Circular in the middle. Am I dense? Hi. No, buttons on the side. Yeah, it is. Okay, hold on. If I find one, I can give it to her. Okay. Right. So, for those just joining, we just defeated a cannibal attack. This trap proved to be quite effective, but you get many of these. Alright. Get these cannibals... Oh, look, the bonfire's now just a regular campfire. Get them burnt down into... their bones. Creepy. Can the trap be reset? It can. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, we should get a few of those. Definitely. That's a cool effect. All right. Yeah, at least she's not afraid anymore. Hmm. Right, stand by. So, go here. And let's see. Can I give them physical armor, I wonder? So, if I go to bones... My duct tape's a bit low, so I best be careful. Ah, no rope. 
Hmm. Okay, we're going to need some rope to make more bone armor, so I best be careful with it. Right. Let's sleep then. Alright. Okay, so hungry and thirsty. So let's go and check the... Oh, there we go. It's empty right now, but presumably it's going to start filling with fresh water. Let's go cook some fish then. Hmm. Uh, hang on. Get some more sticks on there. I presume that makes it... Uh, Last longer. Yep, there we go. Break in half. Contextual interface on the fire. Mm -hmm. Ooh. She's pointing at something. Pointing at me? What's she pointing at? Hmm. Ah, good. More bones. Let's make a bone box. Hang on. Store the human remains in, in the, my pre-prepared bone box. Hang on. Sorry, one of the downsides, uh, I'm sure many people are familiar, but one of the downsides to doing editing is the fact that because you watch a cut so many times, so many times, you end up hearing your voice again and again and again and again and again. And it drives you nuts. You, you, get, you very rapidly get sick of your own voice. There we go. So imagine my fucking displeasure having to fu fucking edit the video essay that I did. And just like again and again. Pre-prepared bone box. Click, 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 click. This will start a trend. We're going to circle back to this. In what I'm going to call a neighborly stroll into unbelievable violence. Where this guy, this protagonist right here. Immediately picks the most insanely violent one. In a moment that just makes you go, huh? Like, the number of times I had to read that script, again and again and again, because I made some error. Right. Cool. There we go. Nope, what am I doing? Right. You right, honey? Hang on a second. What is this? 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 Huh? What is this? Salmon biscuits go in one way, smells go out the other. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, she's a happy girl. Right, okay then. So, let's explore a bit more then. Uh, hung sorry, hungry and thirsty. Sort this out first. So, get some fish. Fish, 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 fish. Salmon, grab. Salmon. Right. Too many salmon. Can't carry any more fish. Let's put the fish that we've got on the fireplace here. Yeah, we, def we definitely need, need to make a proper house, don't we? Okay, so cooked fish, raw fish, raw fish. Those are both cooked. Right. Put that away. Eat the fish like an insane person. Uh, what are these? Raw meat. Uh, where from? Is that people? Right. Yes, maybe don't eat this. Okay. And water. Pardon me? Sorry? Oh, there we go. Turtle water. Okay, good. It hydrates me. And it doesn't poison me. Nice. There we go. Right, Kelvin. Let's go... Oh, what's she doing? Oh, wow. She bought me some berries. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That's very kind. Okay. We're earning her trust. More concerned about her, to be honest. I hope she's okay. Oh, look. She's going to... No, she's just sitting. I thought she was going to do the ballet dance. We saw her do it in the, in the distance when we first encountered her. Uh-oh. No, it's nothing. Okay. Right, so... Let's go... Which way? Kelvin, you can come with me this time if you want. So I'm not going to go back into the cave system just yet. Let's go that way. Let's investigate the other signal, shall we? Save it before we go. Let's save. Right. Sorry, I'm pushing the time insofar as the live stream. But just a little bit more. Uh, no golf cart? Not this time. Let's, uh... Let's sneak our way through the forest slowly. Instead of blaring our way with a, la with a loud gul golf buggy. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. Those are the cultist bodies that we found. Men wearing robes. They had a leaflet. Something about some weird cult with a circle with an eyeball in it. Don't know what that's about. Okay. This way. Up this pathway. Oh, look. Oh, no. Skeletons. Hmm. Chicory seeds. Well, Jav Darrigan, I mean, it, it is the second try. So this is my second stream of uh, Sons of the Forest. Oh, she's coming too? Okay. You're welcome to follow. Thank you, Selkar. So this way, it's quite some distance. Yeah, very muddy. How many feathers do I currently have? A few more. Let me see if I can quickly make... Oh, shit. Grab a few more sticks on the way. Make a few more stone arrows to make sure I'm solid. There we go. Just in case we have a, ho have a hostile encounter. Right. Anyway, sorry, for those joining who aren't sure exactly what they're looking at. I'm a survivor of a helicopter crash, and I think I'm a member of the press. This island, I think, is run by a large corporation who have outbid it from the former antagonist of the first game called Sahara Pharmaceuticals, I think. And I also think that we're part of a rescue team to look for three people, and I think one of them is the girl that you keep seeing back there. Her name is Virginia. The other two is a CEO of Puff Corp. Hello. And I oh, gee, oh shit, what the fuck? You were hiding in the hedge. Is Zahara Corp really the antagonist? Well, they were murdering children. Not so sure. Could be in a pickle. So do Nestle. Dark, but also that means they're both the antagonists. The thing of the thing with what about isms is that uh yes, it doesn't stop both of them being wrong. Or both of them being evil. Okay, what's this here? following the path. Ah, hold on. It's an actual camp. Go around if we can, Kelvin. Let's 
stay low. So what does the eye actually indicate? I see. So it's not just the eye, the edge of my screen. So I'm completely hidden right now. So for those who didn't see the first forest game, yeah, so the Sahara Pharmaceuticals seem to have found some large obelisk devices of unknown... Is Kelvin okay? Of unknown maker. What's he doing? Is he eating? He's probably eating berries. Fuck. Kelvin, I think you got spotted, mate. Fuck. Behind you, Kelvin. Fuck. Too high. Let's go, Kelvin. Kelvin. I think I should have left him at home. Kelvin, mate, what are you doing? Nice try. Right. Let's go. Where's Kelvin? He's run off this way. Okay. Come on, man. Let's go. He's coming back. Wait, another icon. Bleeping. Do you remember? Do, well, sorry, what was the, what, we saw one of those before. What was it? Was it the campsite? No, it was the golf cart. Something's on the GPS over here. What could it be? Another golf cart, maybe? Why does the GPS keep flickering like that? Something's through here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. So, yeah, so heavy machinery. So there's got to be a large facility here. We found golf carts to get... Kelvin? Where is he? There he is, he's having a drink. So we found golf carts and stuff indicating that someone's driving around corporate, I assume, corporate infrastructure. So what's this? Where did this come from? It's not the sort of thing you just take on a camping trip. It's really fresh. Look at it. Holy shit. There's barely any mud on it. This isn't a derelict. This hasn't been rusting here for years. Okay. Wait, this isn't e this isn't even the item of interest. It's just over there. Any sign of Yeah, this is yeah, pretty well kept. No sign of tracks. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Different tribe, maybe. She's hiding behind her mate? Okay, back away. Back away, Kelvin. It is another golf cart. Strange. Surveyors. Kelvin, you okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> really? Really? Don't try it. Warned you. Oh. Ah, <sighs> bloody hell, woman. What are you doing? Fuck's sake. Okay, she's probably upset. Wait, I have no arrow. Damn it. Sorry, I just need to take this from your fat husband. What the 
the fuck is this about? He has no knob. Why doesn't he have a knob? What the fuck? So are they mutated? Okay. Dif yeah, just like, as in, are they different tribes again? I assume. Completely painted head to toe. In dye or blood? They were kind of rubbish, weren't they? Sorry, I'm not trying to slag them off. It's just two arrows did them in. Almost as though they're just gatherers or something. What's going on here? Two more batteries. Golf cart batteries. No markings on the golf carts? What was being surveyed? Any bodies of the people that took this here? No, oh! Hollow Springs! What the fuck is, What the fuck is Hollow Springs? Hollow Springs? Was there some sort of a resort here before Puffton took it over? Are we going to find a golf course? Yeah, maybe there's a resort here. Oh fuck, have I just killed two tourists? Did they think this was like a LARPing thing? Hmm. Yeah, they did look British, frankly. Uh, Kelvin, I think we need to leave. I think we just, I think we just murdered, like, uh, you murdered two people. We should go. <coughs> Hop in, Kelvin. Or are you going to run alongside like a dog? Hang on. Is he actually hopping in? Can't, can't see where he is. Nope. Now Shut the fuck up. No. It's a shame you, shame you can't get aboard. What's this here? Oh. Flammable something. Another another battery. I can, can I command him to sit in the seat? I don't know. Where's he going? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Follow me. No, he's already doing that. Hmm. Okay, so some sort of site. What do the blue lines indicate? I don't know. Let's go up here. Hmm. More skeletons. Okay, we're quite low on arrows, I think. No, nothing, maybe. Is it just is it just Kelvin's path? Sorry, he just ran, yeah, he just ran a route, didn't he? Okay. Right, we'll go we'll go check out that. See what that is, and then I'll wrap up the stream, okay? Right. That yeah, that could be an idea, Crimson. Maybe maybe the resort was the cover, maybe? No wait, but the article did say anti aging stuff. I don't know. We'll see how the story fits together at the end, shall we? Let's over that hill. Let's go have a look. Pick up sticks as we go. Make a few more arrows. Oh, another camp. Up there. Maybe we should avoid it then, or at least not take Kelvin. What's that? Chicory. Yeah, we'll go this way. Uh, not yet. Sa uh, um, sorry, um, uh, Sasse. Trying to figure that uh, figure out the answer to that is exact question. 
this way. So what are we? Yeah, what are we dealing with here? Hang on. So we've come up the river. I see. So we're actually on the same river. Yeah. So our home is just down this river. What's that there? Is that a deer? It is a deer. Can I hunt it? Get its hide. For I am an expert hunter. Expert hunter. What the fuck? Where did that even go? Uh, hold on. Expert hunter needs uh, a moment to make more arrows. There we go. Take six, break them in half, put the feathers there, then draw the rest of the fucking owl. There we go. Expert hunter. Fuck, they saw me. No! Oh, fuck me. Okay, some practice, I think, is required. Thank you, Martinez. Kelvin, where you going, man? Here he comes. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> Can you actually catch one while they're doing that? That'd be cool. Hang on. Yeah. Uh. Uh, no. Can you get one? Oh. No, I think I think it's just um, they're not real, are they? It's just an effect. Hang on, wait for my energy bar. I'm like a bear. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So this way. This is quite a cool location for a base. Thank you, uh, Anna T. Thank you very much, Anna T. Damn it. Did I get the arrow? No, I did not. There it is. Okay, so, straight ahead, a point of interest. Uh-oh, what's this? Is that a flare, maybe? Hello. Oh look, a campsite. More music. Wait, someone alive? Someone's alive, what the fuck? Waving the f It's another soldier. Hi. Holy shit. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, that sucks. Did he die from disappointment? What's going on here? Solar panel? Power. Oh my god. Okay. Attacked by the cannibals, I presume. Ooh. They had time enough to bag up one of their dead. Sportswear, that's just the brand of the thing. Where are their guns? Surely they'd bring a shit ton of guns. Dreaming in holograms. Energy drinks. The tactical guide to war and munitions. Holy shit. Is that an axe in his chest? Modern axe. Nah, leave Kelvin alone, dink. What the f- I am so sorry. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh 
That's really fucking dark. Fuck. Yeah. Bloody hell. So wait, what, hmm. What happened here? Someone jammed a modern axe into his chest? Did they go crazy and attack each other? What's this? Yarrow. Some pills. Is the artifact making people go crazy? If there is an artifact here, which I assume there probably is. What's this? Note. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. Chuck. New arrivals. Chuck to someone called Zhang. Something... Zoom in, sorry. Chuck Dagger, or Degger, to Jin Yu Zhang. Who is Jack Holt? What's he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. I don't know. Jack Holt. Maybe the guy at the beach with the handgun? Hmm. Sorry. Put that away. Can't carry too many. Oh! Holy shit! Cooking pot collected. Good. I can now use this. Sorry, this probably isn't a very good idea, filling this up with corpse water. But I can sterilise the water. After all that, finding a fucking... murdering a, tor a turtle over its shell. Okay. What else is here? Oh, grenades. Take a couple of these. How many teams were sent? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? What just happened? Flick, where's it? What, fuck, where's the axe? Where's the axe? Where's the axe? Where's the axe? Is it fully paused? I hope it is. There it is. No, that's that. Yeah, that's the modern axe. Equip. Shit, the bed. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, wait, are you wearing a ballistic vest? What's that? No. Fuck, watch your Kelvin. No, he set Kelvin on fire. Kelvin, hang in there, man. Get up, get up, get up, get up. No, you weren't wearing... I thought you were. What happened there? Hang on, we've got to deal with these motherfuckers. All right, yeah, you think you're clever, right? You think you're fucking clever? Uh-huh. Oh, you jumped. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hang on. All right, put this on slot six. There we go. <clears throat> Damn it, I'm out. He's run off with my, with my arrows. Okay. What's this? Sticks of C4? <laughs> Flares? A uh, horse tail. Okay. Circuit board and vodka. What's that energy drink? Hang on. Oh, pardon me, I'm sorry. Circuit board. Combine. What does it make? Sticky bomb. 3D printed arrow? GPS locator. Oh, of course. With one of those spare lights. That's how we, we, we need to make one for her. For the girl. Hmm. Shock carbon fiber arrow. Shock? Really? With a battery? Hmm. Okay. So, uh, so, yeah, for those just joining, I found a camp of, um... Of mercenaries, I assume. I don't know what's happened to them. If the cannibals have attacked them, or if they went crazy and attacked each other. A watch and a zip line, A circuit board and a some duct tape. It's just a rock. Oh, I'm fucking... Keeps getting me. Fucking. Right. Thank you, Don. Thank you very much, Don. 
Okay, um, forgive me, folks. I'll probably leave it there this afternoon. I'll save at this tent. So, yeah, um, ex essentially exploring the area, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Chuck Holt? Is it, was that his name? Hang on. Jack Holt? Who is Jack Holt? What's he doing here? Puffton didn't have any friends. Didn't in the past tense. The CEO. Hmm. Okay. Don't know who that is yet. Right. So, um, I'll pick this up again later, fo Uh, is that a fucking eagle? <laughs> Kelvin doesn't give a shit. Where are you going, Kelvin? Not sure. Anyway, right, I'll pick this... Oh shit, there's one behind there. Fuck. How long, is he? How long have you been there? So I'll pick this up again later. Um, for now, uh, I'm working on Armour 3 Prairie Fire Bullshittery, which is to say Vietnam. Um, I've got lots of quality assurance work to finish on it before it's done, so I'll be editing for the rest of today. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you, Don, and Bellic and Anity and Martinez. So, um, yeah, so pretty much I'll be around this evening, normal time, really. So on, on with the editing, on with the routine. Thank you again. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Let me see if any of my clan mates are doing anything you might want to watch. Hang on. So, Tom is on. What's Tom doing? Tom is currently playing some... Uh, this looks like Final Fantasy... Is it the 7 remake? He's running around as Cloud with uh, Eris, Yuffie... Who's that? Barrett and a giant Chocobo. Lots of them. I'll leave you in Tom's company. So this is ZF Tom. Thank you again, folks. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon.